everybody and welcome to another uh, QML tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to continue on our tutorials of animations and check out states and transition animations and uh, so from before we have these single uh, animations that we're running on each one of these I'm gonna go ahead and close that and what we're going to do here is above our main image here we're gonna create a rectangle okay and in this rectangle we're gonna have different states and transitions for it okay and we're going to take the height, the width and height here from our main image, and we're now going to set that to be the width and height. And we're going to take this, and we're going to say 2.05, and change this to be 14. Okay. Let's set the color of this to be orange for right now. And the radius of it to be, say, 20. Okay, let's go ahead and save and run that. Take a look at this and, okay, we need to center that the things in. So let's go ahead and give this an ID. And this is going to be called backdrop. Okay, and let's go down to our main image and anchor, center in our backdrop. Okay, so now we're taking the main image and centering it into the backdrop. Much better. Okay, so now let's add some states and um, to our to our rectangle here, our backdrop here. So let's go ahead and add a states, <clears throat> and we're going to call this one entered. We are targeting the color. Oops. <laughs> we're not targeting color, we're targeting backdrop. What am I talking about here? Okay, and then we're gonna change the color. Okay. So on this state, I want the color entered to be orange. Okay. Now we need to add another state to this. So we do that by press we have we put a, a, a column right here. So semicolon here and then we put in our next state and this one's going to be called exited and again we're targeting backdrop and we're changing the color though to be transparent okay so now we have two states for this backdrop we have exited and entered now we need a way to signal them off, so let's go down to our mouse area down here. Let's say uh, hover enabled. Set that to true. On entered. Mm, backdrop dot state is equal to entered on exited backdrop dot state is equal to exit it. All right, now we have a way of seeing if they are exited and not exited. So now let's put some transitions in between our states when they happen. Let's do this, we just type out transitions. And our first one is going to be from uh, exited okay to entered okay and we're gonna put some uh, color animation in here and we're actually just gonna say that it's gonna take 1200 second yeah, we're gonna just target set our target to our main our backdrop sorry okay so that's one transition. Now we have to create a, another transition in the same deal. Semicolon and transitions. And from this time entered to exit it. And we're going to add some more color animation. And again, we'll just set this to be 1200. And these two are now just going to target our backdrop. Okay, 
Okie dokie. So, as long as I've run and typed everything in here correctly, well, let's just recap. First of all, let's set the color to be transparent. So its default state is transparent. Okay, so we made a rectangle around uh, our image, okay, and then we added two states. One of them we named as entered, and we want the property changes, okay, to change on backdrop, a rectangle, the color to be orange when it's entered, okay? And we also made another state called exited, okay? And we said we want property changes, okay, to happen uh, if, the, if it is exited on backdrop, and we want to send the color back to transparent, okay? And then in our transition, we added uh, to and from statements, and we added uh, a duration for each one of our, uh, of each one of our states, Okay, so states to transitions. Then in our mouse area, we added, uh, we made sure that our, our states were entered when, when the mouse is entered in it and exited when it's exited. So, as long as everything's typed correctly, let's give it a whirlwind. There we go. That is states and transitions. Well, I'm Joseph. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm uh, going to make more tutorials on animations next. Okay, have a good one.